Welcome back. Well, it's no secret Americans are facing surging gasoline prices at another all-time high this morning at $4.59 a gallon. President Biden says that the nation is simply going through, quote, a transition as we go green. Watch. And when it comes to the gas prices, uh, we're going through an incredible transition that is taking place that, God willing, when it's over, we'll be stronger and the world will be stronger and less reliant on fossil fuels when this is over. So far, we see California paying some of the highest prices at over $6 a gallon right now in California. It's so expensive. Sacramento police are offering $50 gift cards for fuel as part of a gas for guns buyback program. OK, over the weekend, it took them just 45 minutes to hand out more than 100 gift cards uh, and take people's guns. Dig in your reaction. That's not a lot of money for a gun. I mean, you can't even you can't even buy uh, five, five gallons of gas practically uh, with that amount of money. How much does it work out to? Um, uh, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, but the, 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 with Biden, though, he is admitting that he is making Americans poor for a, a, a green agenda. He's admitting that. He's only following up for his, on his, uh, it, what his energy secretary, Jenny Granholm, has said repeatedly. She said it again last week. That, and the line is, the pain's the point. That they yes. want to make the gasoline and uh, cars that run with internal combustion engines make driving so expensive that they force you into an electric vehicle. But then their war on fossil fuels also includes natural gas. So how are you going to produce the electricity to power the EVs? Yeah, yes. I mean, it, it's stunning that California um, has now developed its own unique barter system, right? So the California economy now it's bartering, right? Here's a. 50 $50 gas card for your gun, like it's going to stop anybody who wants to commit a crime. But the bigger point, um, to Dagan's point, they want to make fossil fuels prohibitively painful for you, prohibitively expensive to force you into an electric vehicle and so on. But the even bigger point here, guys, is that the reason they keep waging war on our energy sector, yes, they want the Green New Deal. Yes, they profess to embrace the environment and all of that. But keep in mind that the real reason, the bigger reason, is because the energy sector is the biggest of them all. It is the biggest lever that they can use to affect the fundamental transformation transformation of the U.S. economy. And to take guns, it's just... So it's 8.3 gallons. Uh, That's how much you'd get for your $50. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, you, you really can't describe the policy in any coherent way because, of course, the, they also want, uh, in the short term, lower gas prices. They occasionally uh, call up energy companies and, uh, and Middle Eastern uh, dictators and urge them to pump more so that they can uh, reduce the political heat of high gas prices. But, yeah, long term, this transition, uh, you, would, you would hope that the president had learned from what we've just observed in Europe which embraced all of the climate obsessions, all of the energy illusions, and where did they end up? They ended up hostage to Vladimir Putin because they realized you still need fossil fuels. Uh, I, to, you could say, you could say he still doesn't, Venezuela. yeah, you could say he still doesn't get it, but you don't know because the, the policy moves in all directions well, I, depending on the political calculation. As soon as he took office and started the moratorium on federal leases, as soon as, and with Keystone Pipeline, it was everything that he did. I said, you're ceding our power and prosperity to Vladimir Putin and nations that hate us. Yes. You're enriching tyrants by doing this. And the, the great idiocy of this begging OPEC plus or begging other nations to pump more oil when they're putting the hammer down on our own energy sector is that it's global warming if that's what they're what they're what they care about it's climate change and it involves the world it doesn't matter where the oil derrick is or where the tailpipe exactly is right. a barrel there is a barrel here and actually we produce oil with um it, it more efficiently than other nations do so we cause less pollution right. but, but they, to my they, point they, earlier they, get it. they just don't care about having a tin ear he's now going to venezuela so he doesn't see this at all. He's, I mean, and the Venezuelan I, I he, oil do, and gas Maria. is dirty. I think they do get it. They just don't care uh. because it's it's in service of a much bigger goal. Yeah, that's right. And then, yeah. by the way, he just told us that.